Hi everyone, this is Vandana Havanipur, um, the author of um, Graphics and Animation in iOS. Um, this is the second video in the series of videos that I'm preparing for you um, uh, to show you how you can use um, the new block-based animations in iOS. And in this video, I want to tell you um, some, some of the other uh, class methods of UI view that you can use um, in conjunction with block objects to create really, really nice animations and, uh, in iOS very easily. Um, the target of this video is um, an app that does just does a simple animation, um, but sort of uses uh, block objects as delegates. It's not necessarily exactly, it's really not um, a classical delegation here. As you will see, block objects are quite different. But what I mean here is if you look at, you have a look at what we want to achieve in this example, you can see in the middle here, these buttons basically clash. and right there another animation starts so we need to know when the first animation here in the middle ends and right there starts another animation so this is what we're gonna do in this um, um, video very simple I'll start Xcode and I will create a new project uh, a view based application I'll call it graphics 2 for iPhone as you can see here We'll go ahead and create a desktop. All right. I'll go in the nip file. Drop this here. Create a button up here. I will call it button one. All right, this is good. I'll call it button one. I'll copy this here. I'll put another button. I'll call it button two. We'll link this to these buttons to our header file and uh, here I'll call this button one and here I'll call it button two I'll connect this to an action and I will call it perform do animation I won't do another uh, because these two buttons have to do the same thing so literally they have to be linked to the same uh, selector here so I'll get rid of this assistance here Click on my button two. Go here. Make sure on the touch up inside, it's performing the same thing. So these two buttons are now linked to the same selector. Save the file. Save the file. Get rid of the right panel. All right. So we're gonna start our, our animation here. So the first thing that we have to do, we have to make sure that our buttons um, both go to the center of the view. So let's start the first animation. This time we're going to use this block-based uh, block class method of UI view because it kind of gives us a completion block, as you can see, because we need that. We need to know when our animation is going to finish. Um, sorry, it's finishing. So I'll say half a second. This is going to be my animation, and this is the completion block. All right, so we do our animation here, and we do whatever code we want to do in the completion block. Now, it's important to un understand that here, whatever code you write here will be animated, but the code here just gets executed. There's no animation in the completion block. So the first thing that we'll do, I'll say button one center is the view center. So instead of changing the frame, great. Okay, let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. All right. Great, you can see that, well, they're now in the center, so there's no other animation to happen. The next thing that we have to do after that block is completed, we have to start another. Now you can see how we're nesting block-based animations very, very easily, very clean. So this one's gonna be animated as soon as the first animation finishes. So for this, what we need, really need to do is we want to send the button one where the button two was and send the button two where button one was. So let's get the frame of each one of these buttons before any of the animations happen. Alright, now I'll send 
button two, where button one was, send button one, where button two was. Let's see how, how this works. Perfect. You can see now they're swapping. Good. All right. The next thing that we have to do, we have to do the alpha. As you saw in the previous example that I showed you in the beginning of this of this video, the alpha of these buttons was get reduced to zero when they were hitting the center of the view, and then it was increasing to one when they were going back to their original positions, or in this case, to the position of the other button. So here, we decrease the alpha to zero for both buttons. And then we switch this back to one. All right, don't ask me again. Okay, see that? Good. The next thing we have to do is we have to rotate these. As soon as the animation starts, I'm gonna say button one transform and all these are really explained i mean all the center and alpha and transformations are explained in the graphics in graphics and animation in ios book so as i said i won't go into too much details about constructing transformation and etc if you want more information please do read the book i think it will come really handy if you mix it with block objects so uh, make rotate i rotate them 45 i rotate the first one first button 45 degrees all right and I'll rotate the other one the exact opposite there you go I'll copy this here and when the animation finishes we want them to have <clears throat> the identity transformation so they go back to wherever they were before without any type of rotation and I also notice that this is button one it needs to be changed to button two all right, let's go ahead. Okay, something is going wrong. I think it's because of the transformation. Transformation needs to be applied before the frame is getting set. So, there we go. Now, of course, you can do whatever you really want here. I mean, this is, this is just a simple example just to show you that you can mix different types of animations. And in this video, you also learned about the completion block, which gets called right here in the middle. When these buttons uh, clash, you can see here, that is where the completion block is called. So if I comment this line out, you can see where our buttons will be left in which state they will be left. So see that? right there if I get rid of the alpha you can see the anim first animations um, ending state here right here and then the completion block gets called and on the buttons go here all right I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions comments do let me know um, and uh, I'll, I'll try my best to answer those questions. Thank you.